A rancher in Luna County says it's refreshing to know that there are elected officials in the county who are standing behind them. But he says it's disappointing to see that the governor still only sees this as a humanitarian crisis. Even if Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham isn't standing behind the president, Luna County residents are. It's very disappointing because we finally have a president that's standing behind what we're saying and she's still fighting the fat and bringing up suit against the president on this declaration of emergency. On Friday, Luna County commissioners unanimously passed a resolution supporting the president's declaration of a national emergency along the U.S. southern border. It's a great feeling knowing that we've got some of our elected officials standing behind us on this deal. Today we asked the governor what she thinks of the resolution and she says there's not a national security emergency at our border. In fact, I was very clear that there's a humanitarian issue and crisis at the border. There's still Still is, which is exactly why I leaned in well before there was a resolution. Congresswoman Xochitl Torres Small, who represents the county, agrees. I think we have some real challenges along the border and some problems in certain hot spots, and it's incredibly important that we have the right resources in the right places to address that, but I don't think it's a national emergency. The governor hopes Luna County will help her administration make sure that the federal government and White House put real resources towards the real issues. But ranchers who live and work on border land say what's happening is a national emergency. I think it's important that these border counties stand up to our governor and say no there is a problem down here. And a Hidalgo County commissioner told me that their county will be voting on a similar resolution next week. Hidalgo County shares an 86 mile stretch with Mexico. Marissa Armas, KOAT Action 7 News. <laughs>